Hello everybody and welcome back to Undertale. Where? We are in a very, very pretty room. Having listened to a very, very interesting story. Who's this? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. Acronym, sorry. It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you'll hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now, you understand. It's time to begin your judgement. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? More often than not, but I did a couple of bad things because I didn't know any better. And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Sans. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave up to you. Throne room. And a save point is giving me so many save points. It's down here then. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. She lab, it's empty. Wow. They have my coffin ready for me. That's pretty dark stuff. The last corridor, save. Oh, it's the flowers. This is Asgore. Dum de dum. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh... I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Yeah, I think you were a nice guy once. And I think that you've been racked by pain. Nice day to, today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. 
perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do? When you're ready, come into the next room. Way too many save points. And it doesn't even tell me to be determined or anything. Well, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. These rooms are mirroring like a lot of the early rooms. Are you ready? If you're not, I understand. I'm not ready either. The end. Wow. This is the barrier. Oh wow. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. See, there are a couple of bits um, that I know people have wanted me to do. Such as visiting the Temi shop and opening, I think, Nasta Blook's cousin's house with the key. Um, but I think I will maybe leave those for another run, just for this time, because I think that if I've genuinely, this was meant to be a blind playthrough, and if I've genuinely missed those places, then I think that I should go with what I've done. Now, if, um, if I do another playthrough, I, I will consider that a non-blind playthrough, and I will play it a proper either pacifist or genocide route, and I will try my absolute best to to read up on places I've missed and to visit all of them. So this may be something to do in a second run through. So just to let you guys know that this is why I'm going to continue because I figure that that is if I didn't if I hadn't been told about those things in comments, I wouldn't be going back for them. But let's go. I see. This is it then. Ready? Oh, those are the other hearts. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. I'm thinking I might end up having to go back anyway because uh, this looks like it might be a bit of a difficult fight. Let's check our score first. He has 80 attack, 80 defense. Okay, I'm already really hurting. This is going to take some working out, no doubt. So if we talk to him, what's he going to say? There was nothing to say. This is the one fight where there's actually... I've got no items except I've got the locket try the locket. I don't know what the locket does. I have one hit point left. I think we're gonna have to fight him, you know that. Because we are we literally have
We can't spare. We can't talk. There's only so much checking that you can do. Oh, press set. Hang on. So there's a there's a trick there. I cannot give up just yet. She lab, stay determined. Hmm. Well, we can always go back to the elevator and go back and get some healing items. I'm going to try and work out a couple of little bits um, about this Asgore fight. Probably give it another go or two, and then I'll end the episode, and then we'll see. But I've worked out I need to fight him, and it looks like I need to press Z as well. Because he's completely... he just bashed through the mercy screen. There is no mercy in this fight. So, I'm going to fight him. Z it. Oh, Z. Ah, I wasn't pressing Z. So there was no point in. Right, okay. That's me dead again. Okay, before I go in, I'm just going to have a quick look at the dagger and the locket that I was given. Because they'll probably help me a bit. So let's see what they do. Worn dagger. Info. Attack of 15. Perfect for cutting plants and vines. That's the biggest attack I've seen on anything so far. So, um, the worn, the heart locket. Info. Best friends forever. So if I use the heart locket to start with. Now, I don't know if I can only equip one item at once or if I can equip a couple, because it doesn't really show me what I have equipped. Oh yeah, look, it took the stained apron off. So I can choose to have some extra defense, or I can choose to have extra attack. We'll try some extra defense to start with. I'm, st I'm almost at the end of the game, I'm still working things out. It's crazy. But those are both nice items. Bye bye, Mercy. Never come out of that well. I mean, what am I meant to do with those sort of attacks, really? They're just all over the screen. Down to two hit points again. Oh, what happened there? Do I get any more act options? Can I talk to you yet? 
Oh, I tell Asgore that he's killed me twice before. He nods sadly. I'm going to be alright. Stay determined. Okay, well. I'll try and equip the dagger this time. I'll see if that makes a difference. Let's try some different stuff. try and talk again and tell him. I tell Asgore he's killed me three times. He nods sadly. You have to kill me like ten times and then like... Definitely do more damage with that dagger but it's... <laughs> really not doing anything. Oh. It looks like I only get one chance. It's not like I have any items or anything. I don't even know how I did that. But I'm dead now. <laughs> I knew I'd be dead on that one. Couldn't even afford to take one hit there. I can't give up just yet. Chill up, stay determined. Okay, with that, I think I am going to cut the episode off here. So um, I think I will go off and get a... Not that I have much money, because I spent it all beating Metaton. So I will see what, um, what I can do about getting some healing items for this fight. Um, and see what I can do to try and get through it. Because I don't think that what I'm doing at the moment is really working. So... Um, yeah, this might be a little bit of a shorter episode um, than normal just because of that. But I hope it was, I think it was quite a poignant one. And um, I have a feeling that the next episode or two may well finish the game. And I will be quite sad to, to see the end of it, honestly, because it's a lovely game. So anyway, if you liked the episode, then please leave me a like uh, in the subscription comment section below. Um, and if you want to see more Undertale and see how this all ends, then please subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope to see you all for the next episode. And in the meantime, look after yourselves and keep being awesome. And welcome back to a little kind of secret ending. I decided that since I need healing items and I used all of my money that I've had throughout the entire game. Yeah, I've used all of it beating Metaton. I'm going to need to sell off a few things. And apparently the only place where I can sell off things is in the Temi shop. So I have gone and I have found the Temi shop. And I thought you guys might like to see. So we have these derpy dogs.
You say, hi, I am Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> You're Bob. You're Bob. Of course you're Bob. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Humans, such a cute. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. Hives. What's this? Feeling of being watched. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It means you've lived a life of sin. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? means don't talk to me. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It means... Oh, okay, right. Tem statue. Statue of Tem, very famous. Very... Okay. So I sorted out my box before coming here. And I was thinking that I'd sell a few things. A locket and the worn dagger are not getting sold. They are quite good. The ribbon, however, yep. The old tutu, yep. The pod glass, yep. The burnt pan, yep. So I now have 422 gold, which is a little bit better. Now, in my box, I still have a few healing items. I still have instant noodles, I still have a bandage, I still have cinnamon buns, I still have two pieces of junk food, and I still have a snowman piece. Which is pretty much all of my um, inventory used up, unfortunately. So, what I want to do, I'm just going to quickly come out, I just want to see how much each one of them... So instant needles, heals HP but it doesn't tell you how many. A bit dubious of that, honestly. The bandage heals 10 hit points and has already been used several times. I don't know how many uses you have on it though, which is probably why I put it away. Cinnamon bun I know is 22, junk food is 17, and a snowman piece I know heals all of your HP. So I think what I will probably do is put the instant noodles and the bandage back and go and get some more cinnamon buns or something like that. But I just thought that you guys would like to see the set, the Temi shop. Um, so I'll probably have to do my outro again now, won't I? <sighs> um, so yeah, if you just all look after yourselves and keep being awesome, and I will see you next time.